hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so first things first i hope you guys are doing well i haven't filmed in quite a while so i hope you guys have been taking care of yourself i just kind of needed to take a step back for a few days and not like do my nails and i think that it was definitely worth it like sometimes you just kind of have to like take a step back but yes i am glad to be back to doing my nails and filming and secondly before we get into the video i do kind of want to just mention something very briefly so i mentioned this in a community post but i did have like a bot account or like a fake account that was pretending to be me and they're like telling people that they want a giveaway please be wary of accounts like that because that was not me i have not hosted a giveaway or any type of contest or anything like that if you are a winner of a giveaway that like i'm hosting I would privately message you and let you know that you're a winner. I would not like comment that under a public video. So please do be careful out there. But I do believe that that's all that I wanted to mention. Let's go ahead and finally go ahead and get into it. So here is what my natural nails are looking like super crusty and they definitely need some help. So as always, the first thing I'm going to do is push back my cuticles using my cuticle pusher. Next, I'm going to take this cuticle bit here to further lift up any of this like crusty dry skin. And next, I'm going to take my cuticle nippers to kind of get rid of this excess growth. Okay, and next I'm just gonna go ahead and cut down my nails. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and file everything nice and even using my nail file. All right, so this is pretty much all of the prep work that I'm gonna do for today. I'm just going to very quickly put on my matte peel-off base coat and afterwards, I'll come right back. All right, so I have my matte peel-off base coat fully applied and I also went ahead and sized out all of my nail tips for today. I am like starting to like stiletto nails more than square and like, I don't know where this came from, but I love stiletto nails all of a sudden. I still love my square nails, like love it to death, but stiletto's kind of like, I don't know, she's making her mark. But anyways, I'm gonna be gluing on these nail tips using some base coat. Okay, so for my pinky nail, I'm actually gonna take a coffin nail tip and glue this on first because I usually have issues with this tip being super short and I kind of wanna extend it first. And after I have this nail tip on, I'm just gonna cut it down with my tip cutters. So I think I'm probably gonna cut right at the base of my pinky. Now I'm just taking a nail file to kind of make the surface a little bit like scratched up so that the base coat can properly adhere to the nail tip. And now I'm finally gonna go ahead and glue on the stiletto nail tip. Okay, so before I like actually go over these with some base coat, I'm just gonna kind of like try and shape up this nail tip a little bit. So I'm first just gonna go ahead and get rid of the like tip poking out here on the sides. And now I'm gonna go in with a nail file just to go ahead and correct the stiletto shape. Okay. 
And I'm also just gonna go over this part to make it kind of blend in a little bit better with my pinky because it does kind of poke out a little bit too much. Okay, and lastly, before we move on to the application, I'm just gonna go over this with a layer of base coat. All right, so my nails are nice and prepped and now we are finally ready to move on to today's application.
Okay, so I have all of my acrylic applied and can we just take a moment? I like did really well with the clear like acrylic and you guys know me and clear are like, we're not cool, okay? But I think I did a pretty good job today. Like I don't have any like massive air bubbles and that's normally my problem, but I'm so proud of myself. Like I'm insanely proud of myself. Like. I don't know, I just get proud like very easily. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping up these nails. And of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is shape the sidewalls and undersides of my nails using my 8080 grit nail file. All right, so the side walls and the undersides are nice and shaped up and everything is nice and pointy just the way I like it. It's so funny, I always get like people who tell me that the like stiletto nails that I do are like too sharp and it's like for you though, it's too sharp for you. There you go, you get it now. All right, cool, but that's a rent for another day. Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is take this carbide bit here just to go ahead and seal my cuticles. All right, and now I'm gonna go back in with my 80-80 grit nail file just to completely smooth out the surface of my nails.
Okay, and lastly, I'm just going to buff my nails using my mini buffer. All right, so we are finished shaping up these nails before we jump into today's nail art. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so my hands are washed and we are ready to get into this nail art. So before we get into it, I do wanna say that this nail set is inspired by Kiri Vey Nails on Instagram. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you pronounce it. Now, I will be honest, I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but we're gonna get through this together. Let me go ahead and show you everything that I'm gonna need for today's nail set. Okay, so here is everything that I have and these are like, I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but we will be using these today. Next, I'm gonna be using this mirror chrome like silver gel. And of course, this is just some top coat and I'm gonna be using this little line art brush. Oh, and I also forgot, we're also gonna need some rhinestone glue. Now, before we do anything, I'm of course just going to wipe off my nails with some isopropyl alcohol, just to go ahead and get rid of any excess like dirt or oils. Okay, so in the reference photo, they did use like the blue like little shards but I'm not exactly sure that I wanna do that. I think I might wanna go in with, I think I actually wanna do these purple ones. So I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my rhinestone glue. And what I'm gonna do is glue these pieces on kind of like horizontally across the nail. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of rhinestone glue onto the part of my nail that I wanna glue these pieces on. And now I'm gonna like take the shard and I might have to like break some of these pieces because they are kind of big. And I'm just gonna place it on top of the rhinestone glue. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for about 30 seconds. Okay, so next I'm gonna kind of create like a little bit of a border around this. So I'm just gonna take the rhinestone glue and kind of just roughly squeeze it out. And I want this to be kind of textured looking to kind of match these little stone pieces. And I'm just going to like kind of tap it on a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the bottom. So it just looks a little bit something like this. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 30 seconds. All right, so this is cured. And now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the like chrome mirror gel or the mirror chrome gel. So now I'm gonna take this chrome and I'm kind of just gonna put it over the border. And I'm also going to be filling in these gaps. And I'm going to go around some of these pieces with the gel. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. And I think I'm actually gonna go back in with the rhinestone glue just to like kind of give it a little bit more texture because as you can see, it kind of like smoothed out once I put on the chrome gel. So I'm just gonna go back and like reinforce this border. All right, I think this looks pretty good. It's not exactly like the reference photo, but it still looks really nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off with some top coat. Okay. 
All right, so this nail is done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails and kind of mix it up a little bit to give it some variation. So yeah, let's go ahead and speed through this. Okay, so this is what the nail set looks like once everything is finished. And as you can see, I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera, but this is what the set is looking like. The last thing I'm gonna do is just finish this off with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun with this nail set. It was definitely something that I like did not expect to look nice on myself, but I still wanted to try it either way. So if you are nervous about trying a new style or a new nail set in general, or if you just feel like your skills aren't there yet, definitely do give it a try and like kind of like challenge yourself to do new things. Like I said earlier on in the video, I am definitely starting to like stiletto nails more and more more and 
even though I do still love square nails, I have a good bit of stiletto nails coming up in the near future. So if you do like stiletto nails, do stay tuned for those. Of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments. Definitely let me know if you would wear it for the fall season because I feel like this is definitely not fall like esque nails, but I still really do like it. But as always, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.